Want to learn about stocks, cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and the metaverse? Join richtv.io. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live. And you can join our ecosystem built by investors for investors at richtv.io. You can see here, bring your attention to Wonderfy Technologies with big news, WNDR in Canada, WONDF in America, also listed in Frankfurt, Germany, which we'll talk about in the video, and also listed on the FTX exchange, tokenized under the symbol WNDR. Now the big news for Wonderfy Technologies is that they are officially listing on the Toronto Stock Exchange, the TSX Exchange, the largest, biggest tier exchange in Canada. And this is huge news for Wonderfy Technologies. They're also listing their warrants. We're going to talk about it right here, right now, exclusively on Rich TV Live. Don't touch that dial. Let's take a look at the big news for Wonderfy Technologies. And you know, we love Bitcoin, we love cryptocurrencies. And we love you, the people. If you like these videos, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. If you're alive, let's take a look at the big news. Wonderfy Technologies officially on the TSX. You can see now Wonderfy is ripping and exploding on this big news. Now up 24% on the day. And now at 71 cents, huge green candle for Wonderfy on the big news that they have received approval to officially list Wonderfy on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Huge green candle and Wonderfy now up 24% on the day and at 71 cents. All right, I wanna talk about the big news with Wonderfy Technologies, the compliant crypto ecosystem for investors. Wonderfy provides unified access to digital assets including crypto, DeFi, gaming, and NFTs in a compliant and regulated environment. So WonderFi has been on uh, an epic ride up and down with the price of Bitcoin going up and down. I'm going to go through the chart pretty soon and break down the market structure. Uh, you can see the high highs and then the low lows, which I will mark right around there. So um, can't even get to that bottom there. So let's go here. Horizon, let's go there. And let's just say it's about 39 cents. So you can see the market structure. You can see the highs and the lows. You can see where it actually opened up, which right about $1.30, if I remember correctly. It was about $1.30 when it launched. Yeah, right around there, about $1.30. So let's just say it was a $1.30 IPO day went up to a high of $3 when Bitcoin hit its all-time highs uh, around November uh, when Bitcoin hit 69000 Not surprisingly, that's when WonderFi hit its all-time high. You can see here November 17th, right around the time that Bitcoin hit its all-time high. That's when you would have been able to get its best price for WonderFi at $3. And it's come all the way back down with the price of Bitcoin and cryptos falling and the stock market falling. WonderFi fell with them and hit this low, low, right around 39 cents when uh, I was getting calls from people all over the place. Should we be buying? Should we be buying? And a lot of people did. And now it's starting to bounce back. And we're going to talk about why is it bouncing back over these last five days. You can see here it hit a bottom of about 39 and now it's coming back up. And you can see here that it hit a high of 59 last week and is starting to really climb up here with momentum and is right now sitting at 56 cents. Now, what has been the catalyst for this move? Wonderfy to become the first Canadian regulated crypto exchange listed on the TSX, the Toronto Stock Exchange, the highest tier exchange in Canada. Wonderfy listing comes at a time when market watchers say the sector is approaching a crypto winter. So interesting time for this. But it shows that Wonderfy is doing the right things. Vancouver-based Wonderfy Technologies, Inc. will soon become the first Canadian regulated cryptocurrency marketplace and registered trading platform to list its shares on the Toronto Stock Exchange. So this is the big news. 
Wonderfy, which owns BitBuy Technologies, which I'm going to show you guys right here. You can go to their website at wonder.fi. You can get your investor's deck. Just click on investor's deck and you can see Wonderfy products. And one of the first you see here is BitBuy, the crypto destination of investors. So huge acquisition of BitBuy, which we mentioned to you as well. So now that Wonderfy owns BitBuy Technologies and is backed by Shark Tank's star Kevin O'Leary, they will list with the ticker WNDR on June 22nd, which is Wednesday of this week. O'Leary said he is seeing more investors demand diversification and options to invest within cryptocurrency assets. Most of the banks are under tremendous pressure from their own constituencies that have accounts with them to give them exposure to cryptocurrency, he said. So we're making sure that we keep our platform open, ready for business to engage with any banking platform that wants to work with us. And I think being part of the TSX, where you find a lot of other financial services listed, is a very important thing. The TSX at the beginning of May approached Wonderfy to see if the company would list on the exchange. That's interesting. The, TX, the TSX approached Wonderfy. O'Leary said the TSX has been lis listening to their constituents and noted the growing institutional demand for cryptocurrency assets. By listing on the TSX, Wonderfy hopes to capture a new breed of retail and institutional investor. Chief Executive Ben Samaru said in a press release, adding that this breed intends to be older investors who trust the TSX. So you're getting older, potentially higher net worth investors on the Toronto Stock Exchange. BitBuy's data noted the cryptocurrency investors are getting older in 2022. The medium age of new cryptocurrency investors was 39, five years older than in 2018. BitBuy added there has been a three-year boost in the median age over the past 12 months or so. Assuming the trend continues, the exchange expects the medium age could soon be could soon be in the mid 40s. O'Leary also noted that older investors tend to have more capital to put to work. However, Wonderfy's listing comes at a time when the market watchers say the sector is approaching a crypto winter or a sustained downturn in asset values. On, Tuesday, on Tuesday, Coinbase Global Inc. Chief Executive Officer Brian Armstrong warned of a cryptocurrency winter after the company cut 18% of its staff its shares have fallen 80% this year, according to Bloomberg data. New York-based exchange Gemini Trust Co. and U.S. crypto lender BlockFi Inc. have also slashed staff counts. The cryptocurrency market route does not phase O'Leary, who said that even success stories such as Amazon.com Inc. have had deep stock plunges when they were finding their footing in the early days. I feel the same way about the crypto sector, he said. It's nascent. It's early. There's a lot of unregulated, over-leveraged positions, and this too will eventually pass. They will blow up. O'Leary added that more regulation will attract institutional capital, which will bring price stability and appreciation once the assets are owned by larger players. But it is also with a regulatory environment, he said. Another favorable factor O'Leary points to was the large number of engineers graduating from top U.S. universities who are looking to work or start businesses in the blockchain sector. So that was the news that started to circulate. And a couple of days later, more news came out. Wonderfy Technologies announces conditional approval to list on the Toronto Stock Exchange. This was Friday of last week. So you could see here, the news just kept coming out and kept coming out. So they announced conditional approval on Friday of last week for WNDR.WT and WNDR.WT.B on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Listing on Canada's largest exchange alongside other industry leaders, including that Galaxy Digital, Hut 8, and Voyager is a significant milestone for Wonderfy as we continue to focus on efficient and compliant access to digital assets, said Ben Samaru, CEO of Wonderfy. Our listing on the TSX will provide greater liquidity and further expand our reach to domestic and international investors, particularly at the institutional level. A little bit about Wonderfy. Wonderfy is a leading technology company with the mission of creating better access to digital assets through compliant, centralized, and decentralized platforms. Wonderfy provides unified access to digital assets, including crypto, DeFi, gaming, and NFTs, 
in a compliant and regulated environment. Wonderfy's executive team and board of directors has established a track record of finance and crypto with previous experience at Amazon, Shopify, PayPal, Galaxy Digital, and Hut8. Wonderfy's core team of engineers and technologists believe that everyone should have equal access to finance and are aligned in the mission to empower people around the world to access finance in a simple, smart, and secure way. So that was the news on Friday. And then today, more news. Wonderfy announces Toronto Stock Exchange listing date. So this is fresh off the presses. Uh, Wonderfy Technologies Inc. WNDR on the Neo Exchange, WONDF in America, and A3C166 in Frankfurt, Germany, and WNDR on the FTX Exchange, tokenized on the FTX Exchange. It's pleased to announce it has received final approval to list its common shares and two series of warrants on the Toronto Stock Exchange, TSX, effective at the market opening on Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. The company's common shares will commence trading on the TSX under its existing symbol, WNDR, and its two series of warrants will trade under the symbols WNDR.WT.A and WNDR.WT.B, respectively. Securities holders of Wonderfy are not required to exchange the certificates representing their securities or take any action in connection with the listing, as there will be no change in the trading symbol or QSIP for the common shares or warrants. The Wonderfy common shares will continue to trade under the symbol WONDF in America on the OTC markets in the United States and under the symbol A3C166 on the Frankfurt Exchange. Post-closing adjustments to Bitbuy series uh, business combination agreement, the BCA, Wonderfy also announces the, that pursuant to the adjustment provisions in the BCA in connection with previously completed acquisition of Bitbuy Holdings, formerly First Ledger Corporation, the parent company of Bitbuy Inc., the vendor take back note that formed part of the transaction consideration was reduced by approximately 8.9 million and Wonderfy's obligations under such notes have been satisfied in full. So that's the big news breaking today and Wonderfy currently sitting at 56 cents. Love to know what you guys think about this news and what do you think about Wonderfy graduating to the Toronto Stock Exchange, the highest tier exchange in Canada. And clearly you can see that this has been bullish for the stock. It had a huge move up all of last week on this news. Now the question is, will this trend continue or will we see it go back down with a lot of selling pressure and uh, aggressive selling in crypto overall? We have seen a little bit of a move back, a bounce back for Bitcoin, a little bit of a bounce back over the weekend. So it's good to see that Bitcoin started to find a bottom. So that could be very bullish for WonderFi as well. So we'll be watching this very, very carefully. You can also go to richtv.io where we've created a group chat for WonderFi Technologies. 61 members are part of that chat. All you need to do is go in there and talk, uh, put in your post, talk about all the big news and share it right on richtv.io with other members from all around the world. And you can also go to WonderFi's website at wonder.fi to learn more about Bitbuy, learn more about, look at all the different cryptocurrency that you can get on Bitbuy, all the top coins right there that are available. Learn more about the NFT world. You can see here WonderFi Interactive bringing play to earn gaming and NFTs to WonderFi. Pretty exciting. I love NFTs. And I also am a big fan of DeFi, decentralized finance, WonderFi, DeFi, simplified swap and trade, earn interest on assets, own market through indexes, and measure performance. All you got to do is hit, click on get started so that you can get rolling. All right, that's the news. As you can see here, all the big news on the wonder.fi website as well. And you can see they're backed by major players. And you can watch these videos right on their website as well. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the news. We bring in the analysis. We bring in the education. We interview the CEOs. And we'd love to bring it to you first. What do you think about this big news on WonderFi Technologies? Clearly, the market likes the news. You can see the stock is rallying 
on the news that Wonderfy is now listing officially on the Toronto Stock Exchange. Love to know what you think about this video. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe if you're live. And remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Uh, we are a shareholder of Wonderfy. Uh, this is also a sponsored video. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think. What do you think of this news? This is your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich to be live, bringing you Wonderfy Technologies now officially listing on the Toronto Stock Exchange on Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.